T minus 20 seconds. 15. 15. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. We have engine start. We have both layers of the EO-1 Sea spacecraft proving new space technologies for the future. Our load relief kick rate is in. Vehicle control is looking good as we climb out of the liftoff transients and head into the transonic buffeting. We're at T plus 20 seconds. Solid motor chamber pressures look good. All three symmetrical. Booster burnout coming up. Approaching Mach 1. Vehicle controls look good. Picking up the normal vibration seconds. levels there. Main engine and front ears continue to look good. We're supersonic. All three solid motors beginning, beginning to taper off as expected. Pressures look symmetrical. We've uh, gone through max Q. Controls still look good. Main engine and verniers continue to look good. All three solid motors have burned out. Their web action time is complete. Our T plus 65 seconds. First stage systems look normal. Booster jettison coming T -plus up in about two seconds. 15 seconds. Expect to jettison the strap-on motors in a few seconds. About another 10 seconds to go there. First stage systems continue to look normal. All three solid motors have jettison. Looks like a nice clean jettison. Usual attitude disturbances at jettison, but they have been nulled out. First stage system, first stage systems continue to look good. We're at T plus 123 seconds. And we have issued our LOX tank bi-level relief reset. And that looks good. Our box tank top pressure is slowly increasing as expected. Uh, the vehicle is now 21 nautical miles altitude, downrange distance 9 nautical miles with a velocity of 2200 miles per hour. The next major event will be the main engine cutoff coming up in about a minute and a half. Everything continues to look good with the Delta vehicle as it climbs away. seconds. Picking up a few uh, pre mico oscillations as expected and they are being handled. This real-time telemetry uh, is being called out by Mark. Levine from the telemetry lab here at Vandenberg. And uh, burners are burning well. pre mico oscillations have damped out. Our next uh, mark event will be a MECO event. we got approximately 50 seconds to go for that. The vehicle is now at an altitude of 37 nautical miles, downrange distance 74 nautical miles and a velocity of uh, 6,200 miles per hour. Just passing T plus 232 seconds. And we have a reported liftoff time of 18 hours, 24 minutes, 25.429 seconds. That is GMT, of course. And the vehicle continues to fly down the center of the range track. System's looking normal there. We have our fuel float switch, locks float switch, and we have enabled Miko. Get up. Miko has occurred. Main engine is burned out on time, and the verniers are still operating well under tank pressure. And there's Miko. Okay, 
Okay, we've separated the stages, and the second stage engine is up and running. 